This week, I'm going to lead you through a stretching focused practice for morning time. We're going to focus on the legs, the back, the shoulders, and get the whole body gently opened up at the start of the day. Let's get started. We're going to start the practice from standing up and I would recommend having your screen at the long side of the mat so it's a bit easier to follow the practice as we turn from one side to the other a couple of times. And I'm going to lead you through the practice without any props so you don't really need to have any extra things for this practice. We'll find our wide-legged standing pose and it could be that your toes are turned to the long side of the mat or you might rotate your hips open. See, what's a good place for your hips, your feet, when we start bending the knees quite early into the practice? But first thing we do, we take a few breaths. So bring your hands to your belly and let a few breaths sink down towards the belly area. Just deepening the breath, the breath slightly. Finding those slightly slower breaths for the morning and keep breathing throughout the practice. Allow those breaths to help you open up the body. And then with the next couple of breaths, bring your arms down next to your sides and you can keep your feet mobile as we start to move. We're going to inhale, lengthen arms up, open the chest, maybe look up and then exhale, bring arms down, bend the knees slightly and round your upper back. Same again, inhaling, lengthening up, just warming up the legs, the shoulders, the back. Exhale, bring the arms down, bend the knees round the back. We'll do two more times with your in-breath, lengthening up. And with your out-breath, bend the knees round the back. You can drop your hip down. One more time, inhaling up. And exhale, bend the knees round the back. As you inhale, lengthen up. And now hold your left wrist with the right hand. Exhale, lean to your right into a side bend, either keeping the legs extended or you could bend your right knee slightly. Opening that left side. Take another breath or two in and out. You can look down to the mat if that releases the neck more. And then as you inhale, lifting back up, exhale, release the arms. Again, you can bend your knees round the back. And then with the in-breath again, lengthening up. Now hold your right wrist with the left hand and exhale, bending to your left, either keeping legs extended or again, you could try bending the left knee a bit. See how that changes the feeling of the pose. Again, you could look down, but we're now lengthening, opening that right side body. You could feel this around the shoulder as well. Take another breath in and out. And then as you inhale, lengthen up. Again, exhale, release the arms, bend the knees last time. Inhale, lift yourself up and now turn toes towards the long side of the mat. So you're kind of closing the hips. And then as you exhale, bend all the way down into a full forward bend. Once you are down, just swing your upper body from side to side a couple of times. Maybe still adjusting the feet. Now looking for some opening at the back of the legs. You could bend your knees if that feels better. And take a couple of breaths in and out in the center. You can bring hands down, maybe between the feet if that feels good. If there's any pain at the backs of the knees or maybe in the back, see how bending the knees could help a little bit. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly open your chest slightly away from the mat. So there's more space between your back and your legs. And then walk your hands to your right foot. Now turn 
your both feet toes towards the short end of the mat. So we're in a runner's lunge. Leave your left hand on the mat. And then as you inhale, start to twist towards the right knee. Now you could stay here a couple of breaths with your left knee off the mat. Or you could bring your left knee down already at this point. Open the chest. Take another breath in and out. And then as you exhale, release your right arm behind the back. And now if you still have your left knee off the mat at this point, bring the left knee down to the mat. And you can either stay here, maybe finding a bit more of a twist, or bend your left knee and reach your right hand to the left foot or ankle. And that probably gives a bigger stretch at the front of that left leg. You might rotate your right hip slightly open, so turning the foot, the knee a bit more out to the side. Take another breath in and out. And then if you are holding that left foot, slowly release the left foot down. Bring both hands to the mat and lift the left knee up into the air. And we're going to come back to that wide-legged forward bend. So walk hands to the middle of the mat. Turn toes towards the long side of the mat. And take a couple of breaths in that full forward bend. Softening the neck, softening the shoulders. We're going to do those same poses on the other side. So again, as you inhale, lift your chest away from the mat and then walk hands to your left foot. And now turn both feet toes towards the other short end of the mat. We'll leave the right hand down and we'll start with a twist. So as you inhale, reach your left arm up, opening chest to the left and either keep your right knee off the mat for a moment or you could bring the right knee down already here, but focusing on that twist, turning the chest, turning the ribs towards the left leg. Take another breath in and out. And then as you exhale, bring your left arm behind the back. If you have the right knee off the mat, just lower the knee down and either stay here or bend the right knee, reach left hand to the right foot and then breathing here. So now if you have bent that right knee, again, there might be a bigger stretch at the front of the thigh, but even if you haven't bent the knee, it's maybe quite a big opening at the front of that right hip, right thigh. Again, you might rotate the left hip open and breathing in and out. Try to keep your neck soft. You might look down to the mat. Take another breath in and out. And then if you are holding the right foot, release the foot down. Bring hands to the mat. Lift your right knee off the mat. But this time we're going to step into a downward dog. So step your both feet back. You can move your feet a couple of times. Stretching the calves. Try to find a place for your hands that would allow you to release the tops of the shoulders and to drop your head down. And then find your downward dog where you could maybe stay three breaths. We don't need to press the heels down, but try to feel the weight of the heels sinking down. Reaching pelvis up and back away from the hands. Knees could be bent here as well. Take one more breath in and out. And then slowly bring your knees down to the mat. Now stay on your knees. Start to walk hands further forward. Keeping hips roughly on top of your knees. We're going to slowly lower the chest down. Find the melting heart, the puppy pose. And you could either... Keep your arms extended, either bring chin or your forehead on the mat. 
or you might bend your elbows and then maybe bring head onto your arms. But here, let your chest melt down. Let your back soften into that back bend. If there's any pain in the shoulders or too big of a stretch in the shoulders, please adjust your arms. You can bend the elbows. You can also bring arms wider out to the sides. Take a couple more breaths in and out. Keep breathing. And then slowly with your next few breaths, inhale, lift your chest off the mat and slowly bring yourself back onto hands and knees. From here, we're gonna come into a seat. So sit down towards your feet and then walk your hands behind you and step hands on the mat. See if you want to turn your fingers towards the feet or maybe you want to open your fingers out to the sides or even turn fingers away from the feet. And now this could be plenty enough opening for the front line. Either stay here or if you want to go further, inhale, start to open the front line more by lifting the pelvis away from the feet, opening through the chest. So baby camel pose. Could be a big opening in the shoulders. You can still adjust where your hands are. Could be a big opening at the front of the legs. And some back bending in the spine, lifting up through the chest wherever you are. You could look up. You could also drop your head behind you. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly, slowly release the pelvis down if you lifted your pelvis up. And then bring your back up. So now release the weight of your hands and you can roll the shoulders a couple of times. And here I'll turn towards you so you can see what we do with the arms as we go into the eagle arms. Now open arms out to the sides and then cross the arms so that your right arm is on top of the left. And you can either reach for the opposite shoulder here, or you could twist the forearms around each other, trying to reach the palms together. And from here, we're gonna slowly start to drop chin towards the chest. And you could stay there if you find a nice opening in, in the upper back, cross the shoulder blades. Or you could continue rounding further down. Maybe the elbows come closer to your chest. Trying to find a place where we could access the upper back, maybe the neck, the backs of the shoulders and that space between the shoulder blades. Keep breathing towards your upper back at the back of the ribs. Take another breath in and out. Keep tops of the shoulders relaxed away from the ears. And then as you inhale, slowly lift back up. Release the arms and we'll go the other way. So now bring hands together behind the back, interlock fingers. And then as you inhale, just open the chest. No need to pull the arms anywhere. Just opening the front line before we do the eagle pose to the other side. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly release and we're gonna find our eagle arms on the other side. So now opening an arms out to the sides. As you cross the arms, bring the left arm on top and either reach for the opposite shoulder or twist the arms, the forearms around each other. So here again, slowly start to bring chin towards the chest. And that might be a good place to, to pause, to stay for longer. 
or you could start to slowly round the upper spine a bit further. Again, maybe elbows come closer to the chest. And breathing. And on the second side, you might find a different spot. That's very fine. When you find a place of stretch, let yourself pause there and just breathe. Let the breath release tension and open up the body from the inside out. Let's take another breath in and out. And then slowly, as you inhale, bring your back up, release the arms. And now just roll the shoulders a couple of times. We're going to go back into downward dog as a transition pose. So step hands on the mat. This also gives you a nice opportunity to extend the legs. So lift your pelvis up. And here, walk a couple of times from one foot to the other, just opening the backs of the legs after that long seated pose. And reaching the pelvis away from the hands, take another breath in and out, drop your head down. And then we're going to travel into the pigeon pose. And we'll go to the right side first. So now bring your right knee forward to the hands, open the right hip, and then lower the pelvis down. Good, slide your left leg further back. Other option would be to bend the left knee and kind of sit onto the right hip like a deer pose. You can choose either of those options. And then we're going to open the chest. So first, before leaning forward, take a moment to Stay in that upright pigeon. See how that feels. Opening the chest. And then after a couple of breaths there, you have an option to either stay in this upright pigeon. It might be quite nice in the morning to stay upright, energize the body more. Or the other option would be to lean down and forward, maybe come down onto elbows. Or even bring your chest, your head, closer to the mat. Send a few breaths down towards the hips. Softening places that don't need to be tense now. Could be a big stretch around the right buttock, thigh, maybe inner thigh, maybe the front of your back leg. Take one more breath in and out. And then if you are down on your elbows, bring weight back onto your hands, lift your chest up. We'll transition via downward dog. This will be the last downward dog. So once more, step your feet back. And then as you exhale, bring the left knee forward, finding the pigeon on the other side. Again, you might keep the right leg extended behind you, or you can bend the right knee Lean more weight onto the left buttock. That might be more gentle for your knees, for example. I'm going to stay here on this second side. I'm going to keep the back leg bent. And then again, initially open the chest. Opening the front line. So here the back is still active. We're actively lifting up through the upper body. And then after those couple of breaths, see if you want to stay there for longer. Or if you'd like to lean further forward, maybe you want to come down onto the elbows. And that might also change where you feel the pose. So you are very welcome to try different shapes. On this side, trying to access the lift buttock, lift thigh. Let's see if you could soften the neck and the shoulders as much as possible. And send a couple more breaths down towards the pelvic area. And 
Then after those couple of breaths, lift yourself back onto the hands. And now lean weight onto the left buttock to bring yourself into a seat and open both legs into the butterfly shape. You could rock a couple of times from one hip to the other. You can have a wide butterfly shape or you might bring feet closer to the pelvis. See where you feel you could access the pelvic area, the thighs, but not hurting in the knees. And then as you inhale, open the chest, exhale, lean forward from your pelvis to let the hips tilt forward. You could keep hands around the feet or step hands onto the mat. Take another breath in. And then if you want, you can exhale round the spine and move into a forward bend in the back. You could also step hands further forward on the mat. Try not to pull yourself down. So hands could be around the feet as a support, but try not to pull down. Take another breath or two in and out. And slowly as you inhale, lift yourself up, opening the chest. You can roll the shoulders. And now we're going to lean lying down on the back. So bring yourself onto the back. You could keep your knees bent. We're going to go into a twist. So first side. Bring your both knees to the right side of the mat for the reclining twist. Opening the chest up towards the ceiling. Your right hand could be on the left knee or thigh. Again, not pulling, not pushing, but just kind of weighing the legs down. You have a choice here. If you want, you could extend the left leg further out. That might give a bigger stretch along that left leg, maybe on the outside of the left hip, maybe coming all the way to the side of your torso. Head can turn to one side or the other. And breathe to those places in your body that you feel most in this stretch. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly, slowly release the twist. Come back to center. Keep both knees bent. Inhale and exhale. Lift your pelvis up into a bridge, opening the front. And then next breath, lower your back down. Same to the other side. Now we're going to bring both knees to the left side of the mat. Open the chest. You could open the right arm out to the side. Left hand could rest on the right knee or thigh. And again, you can stay here with both legs bent. Or if you want, you could extend the right leg further out to the side. Again, it could be a bigger stretch along that right leg. You can also make a different choice on the second side to listen to your body. What do you feel you need on the second side? Another breath or two in and out. And then slowly, slowly release the twist. Come back to center. 
can swing the legs a couple of times from side to side. And then either lean to one side or hug the knees in and bring yourself all the way up into a seat. We're going to take a few breaths in a seat. We're not going to go into Shavasana now in the morning, just to keep you energized. Of course, if you prefer, you can choose to go into a Shavasana or a different resting pose. I'm suggesting we find this seat, bring one hand to the chest, other hand down to the belly, and then take a few breaths at the beginning of this final rest. So even if we are in a seat to pose, we can give ourselves a moment to rest. Just a moment to focus on those breaths. After those few breaths, if you feel that keeping hands on the body, is tensing your shoulders. You could release the hands down onto your knees. And just continue breathing there. You might have your eyes closed. If that makes you too sleepy, then keep your eyes gently open. Just notice how your body feels here. If you feel tension somewhere in the body, send a few breaths to that area, to that part of your body. Let the breath still gently stretch from the inside. Take a few more breaths in and out. And if you want, you might bring palms together in front of the chest. And then as always, at the end of the practice, most importantly, thank yourself for taking a moment to focus on your body, your breath, and for looking after yourself this morning. And I thank you very much for joining in, for sharing the practice. Namaste. Thank you.